Yeah, it's a great stadium, as you can see. Um, I'm not sure on the official figures, but I know there's going to be a fair few fans here tomorrow, and it's going to be a great game for it. You know, two great nations going at it, and you know, like I say, it's what a good place to have a semi-final. Mike, you um, a lot's happened in, in your career since the last World Cup. Uh, you know, moved clubs, yeah. been in and out of the out of the, the England setup as well at times. How um, how are you sort of reflecting on what what's been done so far? And the fact now that you you know you look like you're going to play in a, in a World Cup semi-final. Yeah, a lot really. Um, obviously, last World Cup I was lucky enough to be a part of the squad that made the final, um, and it gave me you know loads of experience. Um, whether I knew it at the time or not, but I know now that I've taken a lot of experience from that and knowledge from players that were in that squad. A few of them are still in now, um, and it gave us a group a lot of hunger to get back there. Um, as you referred to, I moved club in that time, and I think that was the best thing for me. And it probably the reason why I'm stood here now is because I made that choice to go out of my comfort zone and and develop as a player. And and Sean's given me the confidence that he has and believes in me to perform. Do you think what happened the last World Cup for you in your own journey actually benefited in in the long run? Yeah, yeah, because I picked up you know loads of experience. Although I was disappointed not to be to be part of the the playing squad in the from the quarter-final onwards, looking back, I, could, I know that I picked up a load of experience from the players and just being in, in around like groups like this and being in these environments. So, like I said, although at the time I was disappointed not to play, it was, it was a, such a good feeling and such a good experience to be a part of. Do you think, did you think that this opportunity would come around again? Because if I recall, 2018 weren't in... No, no, it was the first time, mid-season was the first time I was back yeah, in yeah. England squad. So, like I say, I think that move that I made... Uh, out of my comfort zone to move to France was the best thing for my career at the time. Um, it, it gave me a bit of energy in my in my rugby and it, you know, put a bit more about my game really. Um, you know, I owe Steve and the Catalan Dragons a lot of credit for that, and you know, it's the reason why I'm stood here today. And I'll, uh, you've got this weird thing where you, you know you pumped him earlier on, but it it means nothing now. And ultimately, if you lose this one. Yeah, it's like I, I, it must. Is it a weird mentality? Have you, have you got to change? You know, not change your psyche, but have you got to sort of knuckle down and really not let that first game? Yeah, we've not. Goal? We've not looked back at that game and thought, oh, it's going to be a walk in the park. We've, we've, we know that we've got a tough game against Samoa. Um, they're, they're up for it, and we're up for it. We've, we've not really looked back and thought, oh, we've beaten by how many points? Mm -hmm. Nobody. We don't remember even how many points we've beaten by. So. We know that we're in a knockout game against Samoa and it's going to be a tough game. The Samoan lads, I spoke to them yesterday, they're feeling nice and relaxed. They're sort of relishing that, being written off after the first game. So do you think they'll be just a, a much tougher prospect? Yeah, yeah, I don't think, I don't know who's writing them off, but it's certainly not us. Um, we're going into that game. We're not that type of group that will be complacent and write a team off before we even step on the field. So, yeah, whoever's writing them off, I don't think, you know, I don't think they've watched Samoa play. And what would it mean for you to, to make it to the final? Yeah, you know, as a group, it'd be everything. You know, we we were so close last last World Cup to to getting the win, but this time around, it's on home soil in England. It's you know, it's that extra special feeling. Um, but as I alluded to earlier, we've got a tough semi-final tomorrow against a tough side. How far away does that first match feel against Samoa? Oh yeah, a long long time ago. Um, I think how many, how many weeks was it? Maybe four, something like that. But it feels seven, eight weeks ago. You know, it's a lot's a lot's happened in such a small amount of time. And as you see with the Samoan side, they've kind of got their their bearings and they've they've put some real good performances on. So they're rightfully in the right in the position that they are to play against us tomorrow. And it's going to be a good game. And so, how have you evolved as squad since that game? Yeah, um, we the first game we played well, not at our full best. You know, some people may say we're being like modest, but we know full well that we we can perform a lot better than what we did. And each week we've kind of gone through, reviewed ourselves critically, and been real harsh on ourselves in the in the review. And I think each week that's gone on, we've got slightly better as well, which is obviously a massive positive for us. You mentioned some of those guys playing the tournament for the first time. Um, advice from even some of the ones that might be on the bench might yeah. um, be having to watch like you did last time. What can they be learning watching you? Yeah, it's just obviously you know anything can happen in these games and. You can get a call up at any time, but also you've got young blokes who aren't in the squad, but you know they're only 21 years old. For example, Kai, who's a London lad, is he's only 21. He's going to have like loads of experiences to come up in the future. 
you know, he'll be in the next World Cup for sure and beyond that as well. So players that are playing, if the likes Dom and Jack Wellsby, they're only 21 as well, so they're they're performing massively well as well and they're, they're key players for us as well, but they're going to be picking up great experience from this tournament so far and hopefully, like I said, we can get to the final as well.